My name is Evelyn Colling, and today I will present to you a panel all about the past, the present, and the future of TV and radio in Second Life. I will talk about the past, the present, and the future of TV and radio in SL, of course. Just like it, SL itself, the broadcasting business in Second Life, the broadcasting business in Second Life shares its past and has its present and has a future in coming. Today, as I see, there is a plenty more of radio broadcasters than, rather than, television broadcasters, which is just a minority of television broadcasters. Well, before I continue here, I want to check if anybody else that I invited is here. Yes, they are here. Safi Wardoshins is one of them. Hello, but unfortunately she doesn't have voice, but at least she can hear me, at least. I hope she can, because it is one of the important panels, no. But let's start this, shall we? Yes, she's rising. Let's start this, shall we? Uh, starting first with this, the history of television in Second Life, the past of television. I will use the views of the present the past and the v and what the future promises for television. If Safia agrees with me, it was 2007. Television companies in Second Life were established during that era. In 2007, first it was SLCN, it's the Second Life Cable Network, and 2008, Metaverse TV, and Reset TV together came on. I will tell the history of SLCN or later on known as Street TV and now and then afterwards I'll tell the history of those other two that I just mentioned. It. Here we go. SLCN, the short for Second Life Cable Network, was started in June of 2007, when Second Life was celebrating its fourth anniversary by Texas Tintum and Wes Northberg. Yes, Wes N O R N O R D B E R R G. According to my researches, the stations when it started only had one show. That's S Life. S Life written with an apostrophe on the middle, which was hosted by Texas Tintum, the one of the owners. The station would later on, in mid-2007, expand to have more shows, such as Tonight Live with Paisley Beep, Racer X Goings, Giants Nail Races, and a business focus it show called Metanomics, which were added a month later, in July. The shows were a tremendous success back then that they decided to add even more shows onto the lineup. Go Ha Hockey, Sail on, Meet the Outer, Moda Fashion, Your Show Safia, Make Meta Makeover, and etc. Those shows made SLCN the most popular television station in Second Life. Isn't that true, everybody? <laughs> yes, it is, Chantal. Very true. <laughs> and, uh, no. I understand about all of that here on the auditorium, but yeah, let me continue here on the story of Second Life. 
2008, Second Life, 10 years ago, was celebrating 5th anniversary. And SSCN joined the Relay for Life event in SL. It had created a massive teleton. Yes, it created a huge, massive teleton here on SL-15B. SL-15B, no. SL-5B is how it was known. And uh, it's a great thing, no, because it's one of the greatest moments in back then for SLCN. It even crashed the studio which was a massive studio, cylinder shaped it, like this auditorium, but it was a little like erect rather than flat. And they celebrated it like in events such as Fantasy Fair, the SLB itself, uh, and the other events related to Relay for Life, and it also happened on uh, Treat TV's North Point Studios, which is our, which is now gone, unfortunately. And that was the year of 2008 for Treat TV. Those shows continued to be popular enough. And now Treat TV is a great big station. It was the powerhouse. It was the station that I should say it's great for all kinds, but people need to really understand about all those kind of stuff. And uh, we understand that we have lots of greatness on that history. But let's move on, because in 2009, it was a great time for SLCN, which was the Second Life Cable Network. Their old SD equipment standard definition was a thing of the past. They purchased it the most state-of-the-art, high-definition equipment for their television transmission. In that same year, SLCN, the Second Life Cable Network, <clears throat> was renamed to Treat Television, or simply Treat TV, and also known as Treat.TV, as it was spelled in its logo back then, new logo at that time. And as part of that, there was some renovations in programming of Treat TV, which was SLCN before. Meta Makeover renamed Designing Worlds. The production of that S Life, S with an apostrophe, of course, stops, replaced with Angie Martinson's fabulous fashion. Pookie Amsterdam's game show, the second question, was renamed to the first question. Who remembers that? The first question. <laughs> Who remembers that? <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody remembers that for those who are older. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and new shows were added. Those new shows were East Sea Editors Talks, Lauren Life, Shopping Showcase, Happy Hunting, and the Daily Pond. Daily Pond. Treat was a popular station. These shows were popular. 2010. It was a hot year for Treat TV, and no, Treat knew how to do a great television business here in Second Life. Let me ask a question. Shout for me, please, everybody, shout me in local chat if you watched Treat TV back then. Yes or no?
<laughs> yes, hello. You sure did watch Street Steve. He. <laughs> yeah. Any more people out there? Oh, Safia Wurdershins. Hey, Safia. <laughs> yes. And, uh, uh, in 2011, things have gone downhill for Treat TV. And, uh, this was thanks to the discontinuation of a program that it still needs production, still. It is not really deactivated or discontinuated. It's just stop it being produced. Tonight Live by original hosts Paisley Beep because Paisley Beep, Leonie Smith had real, real life issues which led her to become today's cyber safety lady in real life over there in Australia. And this led to other shows follow a step further the same manner as Paisley's in 2007. 2007. 2012, excuse me. <laughs> uh, moving on, in that year that I've just mentioned it, it was time that live broadcasts from Treat TV sees it. With that said, programs such as Daily Fun, Shopping Showcase, Pop Box, Live and Kicking, which already stopped in production as well, the same year as Space Leaks, because the Linda Drissen, rest in peace, the Linda Drissen, you're, being, you're going to be missed, died in, in that year. And of course, first question, is T Adverse out, sale on, Metanomics, Fabulous Fashion, and not a fashion sees it production. There were only four shows, and still only four shows remaining in production that back then. Those four were Lauren Live, Racer X Goings, Giant Snare Races, Designing Worlds, which is your show, Safia, <laughs> and Happy Hunting, also a show that you produce, Safia. <laughs> The production of Lauren Life after the closure of Treat TV's live feed would cease in 2015, which would only make of Treat TV a shell company and is no more active as a broadcaster in SL as of now. Metaverse TV and Reza TV would follow the similar timeline as Treat. Unfortunately, I could only find small, a little small snippet of information of those two stations. And these informations are that Metaverse TV produced its shows such as Crossroads, Metaverse Live, Amp It Up, Claim the Fame, and Grumpy Old Avatars. The channel was owned by uh, the now defunct Metaverse Broadcasting Company, or MBC, letter M of mouth, B of broadcasting, C of company, and one of their investors was a very long person that we miss so much as well, Dusa Dragonash. Yes, do's a Dragonesh. I don't think she logs in in SL anymore, but that's a thing entirely. Well, in the present, the television business is small. Only a few stations. La Pistion Liberties Avio TV is the only surviving original company that still sometimes does love broadcasts. Other smaller companies in Second Life are trying to be in an entreat, but they fail. Not the case, which is not the case for the station that is streaming this event right now, which is SL4 Live TV from Pete Hour. Shout out to Pete over there in the audience as well. Only those, and also as well, like I mentioned it earlier, only those three original, only those three original Treat TV shows remains in production. As I said before, of course, 
but they are now produced independently. I call the present era of television SL as the era of doom and the sense treat era. Why sense treat? Because there is no treat TV anymore. <laughs> yeah, there is no treat TV anymore. This is why <laughs> we I mentioned it sense treat, which is a very funny term indeed. That came out of my head while making preparing this panel. It's nothing indeed but a era of doom, the TV business in Second Life. But that's how it is nowadays. What the future promises in the television business in Second Life is not only the rise of production of more TV shows independently of each other, <clears throat> but also I suppose the return of Treat TV under a different ownership and a different name. We are not sure. It, it may be returned with names such as, I guess, like uh, Associated TV, which was the name of a real life company, or, and as well as Paradise TV or something like that. I am not sure, I'm just guessing. It will be so successful that it will even be bring back the trustful viewers of Trades TV. But again, only the future knows. I don't know nothing about the future of television in Second Life. Uh, if anybody else knows, there is lots of things to talk about television and radio in Second Life. But television and radio is something people that, in, that interests the people here. But that's totally fine for us. Let's move on to radio here in Second Life. Yeah, radio. Who knows? We can listen to the radio in Second Life. <laughs> well, we rewind all the way back in 2013, all the way back to the start of us in 2003. 2003. 2003, where all it started 15 years ago. The people that would start the clubs here in SL would have their own DJs, but some, one of them, one of those early clubs, decided to make lots of DJs. Yeah, they would have their own stream for the DJs to stream on the grid. But one of those people made of their club a 24-hour radio station. And this spread over and over and over and over and over to other clubs in SL. One of those early radio stations, I think, is the Gorion Sporto Radio, or GPR. Most stations kept entering the cell in the following years after they, those stations were created. But in 2007, two other important SL radio stations entered on the air. Those stations were T1 Radio, The Guardian with Radio, and of course they were followed in 2008 by Indie Spectrum Radio and the Aviation Based MTFB Radio. Yes, it would be like this. Yes, all the stations. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I totally agree with you, Hollow Clock. <laughs> and ATV or ATV or PTV, whatever it will come in the future, will do the same thing. Okay, Hollow, so don't worry. <laughs> future promises. Uh, all right, moving on. It was like this in radio business here in SL. Uh, uh, until 2013, when those two strangers came in in SL, those two strangers are Shane Forsyth and Kaija Crown, which have an exposition here on Second Life here on SLB as well. ENT SL Radio has an exposition here. They created that said station which at the time was known as ENT SL Talk Radio, which would change the way radio was made in Second Life. I'll tell you that radio station, okay, because 
We cannot miss my panel without any kind of history, right? So here we go. ENTSL Talk Radio 69.9, aka ENTSL Radio, was established in February of 2013 by <clears throat> Shane Forsyth and Kaiser Crown. <clears throat> <clears throat> as a public radio station. Uh, and, uh, and it was a public station made entirely by the community of SL, of the entire grid of SL. At the time when they started ENT, they only had one show. Just like Treat TV had one show as SLCM. And that, but on the ENT part as a radio station, it was a talk show, Brad and Heather show. Because that show will be later renamed to uh, Look Who's Talking. And uh, that show was so popular as well in Second Life. They have a partnership system and the very first club to join their partnership system was a non-defunct pop rocks club. Later on, clubs such as the Armourists, Club B4, the Manor House, Pinky's House of Rock and Roll and others, I don't, I don't know if those clubs are defunct or not, would join their partnership system. Well, let me tell you something. They are unique when it comes to their partnership system. It even attracts new clubs nowadays here in SL. Hinti had changes throughout the years as on their partner clubs. There are clubs such as Hotbird Soul, Cafe Music, Rare Desire, etc. clubs that still exist in SL. Join it, their partnership system. The shows on that station were done, and it still is, by club DJs, singers, and talk shows done entirely by the resident of Second Life. In 2016, they established an ENT charity fund, which donated more than thousands of dollars for Feed and I Smile here in SL. Their success achieved thanks to people in SL that started not only producing shows for them, but also listening to their output as well. And as of now, unlike Treat TV, ENTSL Radio is still on the air. And this is true. ENTSL Radio is still on the air as of now. Well, let's move on to the present. Well, the, the present in the radio business in Second Life is that we have plenty of clubs, yes, plenty of clubs running their own radio station, or perhaps partnering with Shane and Kaiser's ENTSL Radio, which, as of now, ENTSL Radio leads the rank of SL radio stations on the first place, followed by T1 Radio, on second place, then Gaurian Whip Radio on third, and TFB Radio, the radio can hear on this stream, uh, here on the auditorium, uh, on fourth, Gaurian's Portal Radio on fifth, and so forth. And also there is some DJs setting up their radio stations, and more new radio stations in SL are coming. So I wish those DJs a good luck for starting their stations now. Here comes the moment you have been waiting for. In the future, we will also have a plenty of radio stations, as well as the stations mentioned above, having totally brand new shows or DJs in the air. And you have been warned 
I may start my own radio station in similar modes to ENTSL Radio. But since ENTSL Radio is a public station, my station will, will still have the community format, but unlike them, will be a commercial equivalent to them. Even more new stations will come out, and we will see how the future goes. All right. I need the questionnaire and answers. If anybody can use voice, then let me know and the questionnaire and answers. The questionnaire and answers. First, let's start with the hostess, one of the hostess of Designing Worlds here to ask me a question. So, any questions? Let's see. Do you have any questions, Safia Wondershins? Any questions? If there isn't... Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Safia. Good. What I was going to say was that setting up any new television station is a very difficult process um both treat and le Piscean, uh liberty run servers and they store their programs on servers they um people wonder why we don't put designing worlds out on youtube and we put it out on Vimeo instead, and then it's picked up by the Piscean. <clears throat> and the reason for that is that YouTube have really tight rules about music. Now, we as a program are very strict about our music, and it's all legitimately licensed, but we will use four or five pieces of music per show and every time we put something up on uh -huh. YouTube we are challenged to prove that we have licensed that. Yes, that is and totally it's... true, Safia. That is totally true, Safia. It is challenging to post things on YouTube. This is why I also prefer not only Vimeo, but I also prefer Daily Motion, because those sites are not so strict to copyright, you no, know, Safia. And yes, it is hard to set up a television station, but in my case, I just need but in my case, it's actually going to be a takeover of the said. In the case, it may be a, a, a natural takeover of Treat, which is like a purchasing from Gary Wisniewski, aka with Nordberg, and then transferring to a new company, which will be not a shell company, but a company that will be really active, but only future promises. Any more things, Safia, that you know about television? So let me just to let me know. I would say that exploring the cloud might be an option. When you're dealing with TV and editing, you need to decide whether you want to be a company producing all your own shows, which Treat did uh, for several years. Then they became more a, a broadcasting hosting company with independent produ production companies submitting programs. <coughs> um, that is that's totally what LAP has all that is totally been. true it, and it would be it's hugely demanding to do your own production and your own hosting um, that's totally true safia that's what will happen in the future for brand new television stations that is coming in sl recently i see lots of smaller companies coming out recently they are independent production companies yet but they are going to start like uh, their television companies it may be the case of my project which is a revival of associated television which is which was also a real life television broadcaster and i want to revive it here in sl as a production as an independent production company
so you'd, you'd set it up as another production company and stream it on Vimeo, SLArtist.com. Yes, but for now I Thank have... You. Yes, I, 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 right now I have a, a, temporary, a temporary name for my production company, Selectivision. And this name is just temporarily because I can't use the name ATV, which is the original abbreviated name to associated television. Right, no, you wouldn't be able to. Yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for collaborating with me, Safia, here on this panel. <laughs> any more of you? Any questions? Uh, hello, Clark. Any questions? Yes, you can type in local chat. Type in a question for me. Let me know. Yeah, of course, but I was trying to uh, explain to Safia my, my projects, but again, those are future projects. They are not going to, uh, like, uh, uh, to Safia. Sorry, sorry. Nothing else. I'm I'm answering questions to Hollow Clock Henley Safia. Sure, sure. Yes, my project of will reach out, yes. This project is also under the name ATV, which still, I'm not sure what name I will use it. For now, my, the production company that does my cinema is Selectivision, but when I, as soon as I open that radio project, will be uh, a, name it ATV, but I'm still trying to find an experimental name. Before I import an ex ATV real life announcer, to here to SL and as well as someone else which I think was my past life brother to work with me here in SL in that project because again it will involve real life I need to purchase companies name it Associated Television and ATV at the same time because yes it is a hard job to set up both a radio station and a TV station slash production company in Second Life Principally when you want to use a real trade name, Associated Television, the name that Leo Grade created in 1955, which was about 60 years ago. Yeah, but again, I am not here to talk about my project. I'm talking about the history of television and radio in Second Life to showcase that this moment is important to SL. Sure. I understand. I understand, Fry. <laughs> I can't mention that you are my honey bee, or else people would think that I'm so strange. Principally, big names in SL, such as Safia Watershin, she would have never knew that Fry is my honey bee. <laughs> well, I understand, honey bee. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, folks, that is my boyfriend, Fry, a DJ here in SL. And anyways, it is a hard, complicated to work uh, moment for me as project. But let's move on, the history of TV and radio in SL. I have a question to you all. Any favorite radio station you guys listen to? Cavita Carmel? Can you answer in local chat, please? Any favorite radio station do you listen to? I understand, my honeybee. Don't shout it again. <laughs> ah, I see. T1 Radio and Radio Real. Diesel Punk with Big Band and Vita Jazz and all that stuff. I understand as well. Hello, Clark. And yours, uh, Shylom, Xylom, whatever. Your name is pronounced it. Do you have a favorite station? Xylom? No? How about, uh, Pete, you have a favorite radio station as well? ENT Radio. Yes, you, you listen to the same radio station as mine. <laughs> as I listen to. No! Oh my god! You don't listen to any radio station! <laughs> but I know and I understand you, Xylon. You listen to ENT radio. Everyone has their choices in listening to a radio station. Let me give you a tip. The best radio stations you can hear is the one here on the stream, MTFB Radio. The other one you can hear, and it's a great radio station, is e ENT SL Radio. Let me ask, let me close with the golden key to the presenter of Designing Worlds, Safia Wardershins. Uh, do you listen to what radio station? Radio Rio, ENT, T1 Radio, or any other station as well? Safia? Do you listen to any radio station? Just let me know. No answer. All right. 4 and 40 p.m. in my local time, 12 and 41. Radio Rio and Fantasy Fair Radio. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Oh, dang it, Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. Oh, dang it. Anyways, uh, Radio Rio, Fantasy Fair Radio. I understand. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. I can. Okay. Yeah, Radio Rio, Fantasy Fair Radio.